Uh, this model kit review is of the B17G, the Flying Fortress, and it's by Ravel. It is a 148 scale model, and uh, here you can see the picture of the finished model. And some more pictures of the finished model. And the details, colors needed, and another picture. Let's have a look inside. This one has already been started. And this one includes a, uh, a sheet here on how to build a diorama, if you so wish, with uh, ways to show crash landing, bullet holes, and so on. So here are our wings. This is an older uh, mold taken over by uh, Ravel from Monogram. As you can see here, these are all raised panel lines and rivet details. Same on the underside. Here are two engine nacelles with exhausts. And uh, the same on the other side. Looks like these have been uh, partially painted. So that might need to be taken apart to be able to uh, finish. But uh, there's a fair amount of detail here actually. I get the instrument panel and the uh, seats as well as the formers. Here's the bomber. And here's our radio man. two additional pieces. Here are engine cowls and uh, as you can see there's some flashing here unfortunately uh, from our radial engines. Here's our fuselage, the left side. We do have a fair amount of surface detail but it's all raised. Should be another one, there it is. There's a fair amount of detail on the inside, especially around the cockpit area. That piece has been glued in already. And a uh, tail wheel. And here we have parts of the landing gear and our wheels and we have our propellers the molding is not very good the mold lines uh, require extra work to get rid of here are our guns and our stabilizers already been glued together reasonable quality there some additional parts there here's our clear glass it seems to be reasonably molded. A lot of extra parts in here. Here are our decals. Lots of extra decals, little details here. It always tells you that they really put a lot of thought into that. And we have our traditional Ravel figures. These guys you see uh, in multiple kits, especially this guy with the spanner. And here's another one. And another one. Here's the other uh, stabilizer. We have uh, wheels that have been put together already. And uh, the other wheels. 
can see these mold lines. Definitely gonna need some work. Do have some bombs. Also gonna need some work on these edges. And little pieces here on this sprue. Here's our, uh, looks like area for a gunner. And here's the gun. And this is probably the bomb rack. It sits in the middle. And another gun and uh, a glass. And I'm not sure what that is. Let's have a look at our instructions. So this is uh, the Ravel monogram merger here. So we start off with the uh, tail wheel assembly and then the uh, guns. Put together the uh, fuselage, radio area, sorry, the, uh, yeah, in, inside of the, of the fuselage, the radio area. And uh, then we start to build the uh, nose gun and the cockpits. Fuse large formers. These parts then go into the uh, fuse large. Additional details on the inside. Cockpit gets mounted. Then the bombs and bomb bay. Inside glass, guns, and the uh, nose is put on. In the uh, wheels and landing gear. And uh, then the wings are mounted. And uh, the turrets, sides of the fuselage are put together. Tail gun, stabilizer, then uh, engines and propellers. Additional little details. There's also a bomb cart for dragging the bombs around. And uh, our painting and decal guide. So, all in all, there's a fair amount of detail. And, uh, looks like there are definitely some opportunities to uh, add to the model, but uh, for example, the engines and the uh, wheel wells, but otherwise it'll be a great model to build.